Hey everyone, it's Jesse. I'm going to do a short video right now on how to use Google Classroom, some kind of best practices of Google Classroom, if you will. Uh, this video should be pretty short, so hopefully you enjoy. So I'm going to make sure, first of all, that I'm logged into the correct account. I can, I can see up here I'm logged into the account I want to use, which is my Stanford Public Schools account. So I'm going to go here. Um, just hovering over it. If I wanted to change it, I could click on it and I could change my account to a different account. But I'm not going to do that because I want to stay in my public schools, Stanford Public Schools account. So once I do that, I'm going to go here to the little Rubik's Cube and I'm going to click on Google Classroom. OK, now, hopefully um, you have a bunch of uh, Google Classrooms already set up so you don't have to create one. However, if you do need to create one, you go here, just click on this little create or join. Now, if you join a class, if you have a class code, you're probably going to join that class as a student. I get a lot of questions about that. So if you have the if you have the join code, like I said, you're probably going to join as a student. If you want to be a co-teacher, um, you're going to have to ask the teacher that has already set that classroom up to add you as a co-teacher in that class. So that's join. If you click on create, like I just did, okay, you're going to have to uh, create a class name, which will be example. I'm just going to name this one example and none. Okay. Class name section. You don't have to do all this. You just have to, uh, if you notice up here, it says required right here. Um, that's the only thing you really have to put subject. You can put whatever, um, space, right? Room. Uh, you could put something, you know, like room five. And then you're going to go down here. You're going to click on create, and then it's going to go through, uh, take a couple seconds, and it's going to create your classroom for you. Okay. Once you once we get in there, I'll show you um, all the pieces that you want to set up initially, and then I'm actually going to hop out of this example class, and I'm going to go into a class that I've already built because it's far more interesting that way. All right. So here you go. Uh, the first thing that you come into when you first create a class is what they call the stream. If you notice up here at the top, you have stream and classwork, and people and grades. Now, once again, because you are a teacher, you have access to all of this. You are the person that created this class. So you have access to all this, okay? Uh, students will not have, for example, access to the grades section. They, oh, fantastic. They will not have access to this, um, grade section right here at the top okay so stream here's the name of my class here's my section here's my class code okay now if you if you're in class up here you could go like this you could click on display you can make it even bigger that's for students um, like I said if you're in a classroom and you wanted to display it on a board otherwise here you're just going to probably email this uh, code out because right now we're doing distance learning okay anyway so once again, you're still in stream. You can um, select a theme here if you would like. Okay, you can select a theme. You get a different bunch of different themes to pick from. Up at the top here, um, other hopefully it will pop up. Good. You can also upload a photo if you would like to. You can select a photo from your computer that you you know want to customize. I've done that a bunch of times as well. Okay. So this is how you create. Like I said, I'm going to go into um, a class that I've already built now because, like I said, it's it's far more um, exciting that way because you get to see all the stuff that's in there. So I'm going to go back to my classes. And I'm actually going to go into this class here, this West Hill Teachers for eLearning class. Okay. And if you notice, once again, as the first um, tab that you go into is stream. And um, like I said, it's all up at, up at the top here. One thing I didn't show you in the last class, the class that I created was the settings of the class. Okay, I'm just gonna go into the class details here. Um, how did I get there? Let me show that real quick. Once again, it's right here, it's on this side. Okay, I'm click on it. So the class name, this is where you can change it if you really want to, you didn't like what you first picked, all right? Um, you have your class code, your stream. Now, here's the thing, students, some teachers click on this, students can post and comment, students can only comment, only teachers can post and comment. Sometimes that's nice to do because 
um, especially for like younger kids or maybe like those middle school kids because middle school kids can't really control themselves very well. But some usually as students get older, you can leave that uh, students can post and comment because, I mean, you might even want students to post and comment in your class. Um, I kind of think that's a nice feature when students get older. Okay, um, this is where you can customize everything as well, you know, how notifications look, uh, guardian summaries, blah, 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 and it can customize your grading too. I'm not going to get too far into that because this is just a um, very simple tutorial video. Okay. So we go back here, go to our stream. Once again, um, we're out of the settings now. Okay. So here's the stream. If I wanted to share something, okay, with my class, uh, this is just in the stream. It's just, this is basically just for announcements. All right. If you want to share something, you just click on it, share with your class and you make, this is an announcement. Okay. And you can put a link in here too, if you want to, you can put a link to, um, I don't know, whatever really you want. Okay. Maybe you make your, not my credit card info, info, YouTube. Okay. Um, maybe you want to, uh, to send students to a website. All right. Let's do this, this website here. Social blade. I don't know what's going to come up. It's just YouTube. Um, analytics basically okay so you copy that and you can put that in your announcement it's going to come up correctly okay and then when you click on post over here it's actually going to uh, make that a link you could also add a link over here okay you can add a, a few different things if you have something in google drive that you want to share in your google drive remember you're in your um, school account you can share stuff from your google drive you can link just like I did here, um, put a link up there, attach a file, attach a YouTube video as well. Okay. Now when you get over here, you can either hit cancel. You don't like your, you don't like your announcement or you can click on post schedule or just save it. Okay. So maybe if you wanted to click on schedule and schedule this for, I don't know, a week from now. Right. Well, we're at the end of March, so we're going to go to April 6th. All right. Maybe that's when you want to schedule that announcement for. You can also schedule it for whatever time of the day. If you want to be really mean to your students, you can schedule it for 5.30 a.m. Why do I say you're being mean? Because they're going to get a notification on their phone, especially if they have the Google Classroom app on their phone. I'm not going to schedule this, so I'm just going to hit cancel. Okay. I'm actually going to hit cancel here as well. Um, went uh, for right now because I don't want to really post this as an announcement and bring people to social blade. I'll let people figure out what announcements they want to make when it cancel. Um, these are some announcements that I've made here in this class. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, some good stuff here. You know, these are all videos, obviously. Okay. Students, if, like I said, if you leave it so that, you, so that students can post or comment in here, Obviously, you'll see um, you'll see people comment uh, in this uh, thread. Okay, They'll, you'll be able to comment right underneath students or teachers or whoever's in your class. Okay, so that's nice. That's a nice feature that I like. Um, if you want to just share something, now it's a little different. If you want to create classwork, you're going to go here, classwork. Right, so you create classwork in your Google Classroom. Um, I don't have a lot of classroom or classwork in this classroom because this is a, a, a kind of a help classroom for teachers at West Hill High School. So I don't, like I said, I don't have a lot of classwork in here, but you probably would in your classrooms. So create, all right, I'm going to create an assignment, a quiz assignment, which is what you would use a Google form, a question. Okay, this is a new feature. You can uh, pose a question here. It can be just a single question or a multiple choice question. That's up to you. Now, one caveat to this, if you do post a question in here, you can't reset this question, okay? It's not the same as an assignment where you can reset it and re send it back to students. That question is going to be a one-off question 
And in order for you to reset it, you'd have to repost that question or a different question, had that question as well. Um, that's a lot of questions. So material, here's your material here. Okay, if you had something that you don't want students to do, you just want to post and, and students can see it. And you can also re reuse a post here as well. Um, I'm going to click on create to show you what that looks like. Oh, oh create. Oh, yeah, assignment. Here we go. So we're going to create a title. This is just a sample lesson. Okay. Instructions follow all instructions. Obviously, if this were real instructions, you would not write in your instructions, follow all instructions. That is not best practices, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> make sure to read everything carefully. And um, answer all parts. How about answer and complete all parts? And complete all parts. Boom. Okay. Now you're going to go down here, you're going to click on add, and I'm going to spend a couple minutes on this part, add, okay? You want to make, make this easy, ooh, easy for your students to complete, please. Now, what am I saying when I'm talking about that? I'm saying when I click on add, all right, if I want my students to do something here in this assignment, most likely you do want your students to do something. If you want your students to do something, for example, answer questions or post a presentation, you need to give them something probably that they can manipulate. Okay, so I'm going to click on Google Drive, All right? Now, in my Google Drive, you're going to see a bunch of stuff here, right? This is my, this is, these are all my recent files. I've, I've been in my Google Drive a lot, um, obviously, over the past, you know, few weeks. But if I wanted to go to my, my drive drive and, and look at something and make sure I was giving, you know, posting the correct thing, okay? I'm going to go to my drive and I'm going to give out a Google Doc. Now, um, here we go. Oh, here we go. Now, wait, look, I don't want to give this doc. Why don't I want to give this doc? Because this is a Word doc. This means that students are not going to be able to manipulate this. Okay, this is a Word doc, right? They're not going to be able to type directly in this assignment. They're just not going to be able to do it. So I'm going to go to, let's see, click on West Hill. There's probably a bunch more stuff in there. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to click on this. Or even better, look at this, the West Hill Weekly Assignment Tracker. And I'm going to click on Add right now. Because this is a Google Doc, students will be able to write directly in there. It is not, this is not a Word doc, and it is not a PDF. Think about that. Unless students have Microsoft Word, or they have Adobe um, Acrobat Reader, or something like that. Well, if they have Reader, they can't edit it. But if it's a PDF that you're posting, guess what? Students are not going to be able to write in this. I know students will be able to write in this, though, because this is a Google Doc, okay? Please think about what you're posting for students to do. Okay, here we go. Now, I don't want students just to view it, okay? The whole point of this is that um, each student will get a copy. I also don't want students to edit this one because then you'll have students erasing it. You know, if this were group work, and you assign this maybe just to a couple students, and like a group of like three, four, or five students, maybe they could all edit the one file. I'm gonna make a copy for each student. 
because I want each student in my class to be able to write in their own West Hill weekly assignment tracker. Okay, I'm gonna click on that. This is the step right here. This is like going to the copy machine. That's just how it is. Just go into the copy machine right here, make a copy for each student, okay? Can't stress this enough. Please make sure that you are assigning a Google Doc, okay? Not a Word Doc, not a Word Doc, not a PDF, okay? Obviously you can, you can assign a Google Doc here. You can assign also, let me, let me add something else. Click on add again directly from my drive, okay? Google Drive. Um, what else do I want students to be able to do? I want students to open up or go into this. Okay, this is a student I have <laughs> in, a, in a college course, so I'm just gonna click on add. Okay, once again, look, I'm not clicking on this. This right here, I can tell this is a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. This is PowerPoint. I don't want to assign that. Okay, they won't be able to manipulate it. I want to assign this. See this little symbol here? I can tell this is a Google slideshow. I want to add that. Oh, hold on. Get out of my way. Out of my way. High tools. All right, add. Okay, Google slide. Look, Google Doc. Google Slides. I don't want students to view it. I want to make a copy for each student. All right, here we go. So now that we understand that, Google Docs, Google Slides, post those not Microsoft stuff, not PDFs. They won't be able to do anything with it. Maybe you don't want them to do anything with it, but I doubt it. Add. I don't want to add it from Google Drive. Uh, right now, I don't want to add a link. But you could, if you wanted to, you want to send students to a website. You could send them to any website you could think of. Okay. Well, not any website. Come on. Let's keep it, um, you know, uh, school focused here. File or YouTube. Okay. This is where you, this is your opportunity right here to add a YouTube video to this. All right. You know what? I'll walk you through that too. So let's go to YouTube and I'm going to go to youtube.com right and I'm going to search for a video from oh my god look at all this stuff okay crash course yeah crash course has a bunch of great history videos up there yeah let's go to crash course let's see oh world war ii crash course european history I don't think this guy sleeps this guy john green this guy right here Okay. Hi, I'm John Green, and yeah, this is Crash he, Course European History. So, on a okay, wait. So that guy doesn't sleep. Okay, um, let's just look at him again because I'm just going to show you he doesn't sleep. Yeah, he's just not a sleeper. All right, so I'm going to click on sh uh, share because I want to share this. I want to copy this. Okay, let me show you that again. Share right there. I'm going to copy this link that's where you get the link from no you don't want to embed you're not building a website okay you're not posting on twitter or facebook maybe you are but this is a little bit advanced for you i'm just going to copy this link copy now i'm going back boom i don't want to watch that video right now i want to make my students watch it later okay i've already clicked on the youtube thing and once i hit search here you saw how that happened search once i hit search then that video comes up I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on add. Yes. Guess what? Yes. In your assignments, you can have students do multiple things if they can manipulate them. Once again, this is a Google Doc. This is a Google Slideshow presentation. And yes, they these things are already in my Google Drive. They're already in my Google Drive. So what does that mean? Oh, I planned on assigning these things. So I already created them in my Google Drive before... I started my lesson, okay? Went to YouTube, got a video, okay? Once I do all that and that's what I want, I got my title, I got my instructions for my lesson, then I can assign this to multiple, okay? 
All right, I want to assign this to multiple classes. All right, maybe I don't. Maybe I'll, I'll, well, I'll assign it to that sample class. There's no students in there. I just made that up a couple minutes ago. But here, okay, you can assign it to all to a uh, bunch of different classes. Here, I can assign it to all students in this class here, blah, 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 all these people. Or I can assign it to just a couple of students. Yeah, I just want to assign it to these four students. I don't know. Maybe you want to. Maybe you don't. Maybe you want to assign it to all students. It's up to you. Okay. So which class is at four? All students in that class? Sure, exactly. Assign a point value. Assign a due date if you want to. Not mandatory. Assign a topic. Okay, so you can create a topic. These are sample lesson. Oops. lessons. You can make your topic whatever. Maybe this is exam material. Maybe you're studying for um, your midterm, or maybe you're studying for some other lesson or end of unit, whatever it is. Or maybe you're going to assign this to a unit. Okay, make up a topic. It's up to you. I don't want to do that because, oh, yeah, sure. Nah, leave a sample lessons. I'm just going to delete this anyway. Now you've done all this, okay? You've done all these things, blah, 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 all this stuff. You put some stuff up here for students to manipulate once again. Stuff that they can get in there, they can type in, they can add slides to. It's not a Word doc. It's not a PowerPoint presentation because students can't do anything with that. And it's also <clears throat> uh, not a PDF, Okay. All right, not Google Docs, Google Slides. So if I wanted to assign it right now, I could, or I could schedule it just like you could schedule the other stuff, um, the post that I showed you earlier. So click on schedule. And I'm going to schedule it for, oh yeah, today's Friday, March 27th. So eh, we'll schedule it for Monday, right? Let's schedule it for, I don't want to be that mean to my students, so I'm going to schedule it for 7.25 a.m. Okay, and click on schedule, All right? Now, when I click on schedule, it's going to, it's going to bounce me out of this screen, okay? And it's going to bring me, you know, back to my classwork screen here. Um, and you can see that it's scheduled. Now, if you wanted to get rid of this now, you could. Or if you wanted to, um, you know, edit this, maybe you wanted to schedule it right now instead, just click and you, you know, click on assign. All right, fine, assign right now. No, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to click schedule it again. Uh, fine, schedule it March 30th, 725 a.m. Okay. Again, it goes back to the classwork. Now, once again, stream, boom, classwork, people. Who are my people in here? Teachers, students, okay? Um, yes, students can see the other students in the class. It's fine. If you wanted to email all of these students, say I wanted to select them all, Okay, I want to select all of them and I want to do a batch email. I could, it BCCs everybody, just take my word for it when you do that. So, or if you wanted to remove them or mute them, I don't know, maybe you could, maybe someone's being annoying in your class, you could just mute them there. Okay, or if maybe you just wanted to, you know, email uh, a group, ah, hold on. Maybe you just wanted to email a group, these people are not talking enough and doing enough assignments in my class okay All right i don't know but that's how you that's how you do that part once again students do not see this tab their student screen you cannot see the grade section okay um, they only see stream classwork people that's it they do not see the grade section, okay? All right, well, I think that's pretty much it. That's the stuff that I want to show you for this Google Classroom video here, and I'll post this in a couple minutes. 
in this class for everybody to see. Okay. Any questions, just please comment below where I post it. Thank you very much.